people i welcome you once again to bright and clarish channel thank you so much for your love and support i really appreciate all the love that i've been shown so far so good yes uh, mr paul mr paul amo thank you so much i gave i said thank you last time but again i want to say thank you again all right you gave me 200 ghana cities i'm so grateful You've shown a lot of appreciation. Mr. James Nyaho. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. He's from the UK. All right. You gave us 500 Ghana cities. Thank you so much. All right. And then Joseph Ahiabla. Joseph Ahiabla. Thank you so much. You gave us 300 Ghana cities. Yes. Yeah, so far, so good. We have three people showing us an appreciation and we are so much touched okay and i believe that a lot more are coming yes a lot of people are getting a message they love it they will send their appreciation yes i mean we're not charging anybody if you've known that you learned something from this channel and this channel have been of good help to you day in day out we keep learning along the way our building journey and you want to show us an appreciation oh 20 dollars 20 pounds 30 pounds 50 pounds that's okay no not more than that you understand from your heart if you desire any amount you want to share the numbers are on your screen is an mtn number okay that's for my wife the name is also there clara Boydiwa, for the mtn number just write it down and confirm the number before you send it. you send the money you understand all right so today's topic is going to be cost of superstructure for a five bedroom house. I'm doing this specifically from one of my subscribers, Mr. Paul Amo. Okay. So the last time the video was on the cost of foundation. Today we are going to do the cost of superstructure and then we put it together and see if we are going to hit 120,000 Ghana cities or more. You understand? That's what we want to achieve. We don't want to cross more than that. So if we have 120,000, we should be able to build our five bedroom house all the way to the roofing stage. Are you getting it? All the way to the roofing stage. Okay, so let's begin. Now, in the superstructure, already your foundation, concrete, everything, oversight, concrete, done. So now you're just going to lay the blocks. That's all we do, laying the blocks. Laying the blocks, that's all. And then iron rods will come. Cast the pillars, the lentil, and that's it. There's nothing more here. Just lay the blocks. Let's go. Okay, so laying the blocks, I'm anticipating that based on Mr. Paul Amon's um, uh, building, which is going to be showing on your screen, okay, he has a hall, okay, on the hall, if you look on your stream right hand side, okay, that's a hall, and then beside the hall is the entrance, the porch, he has the visitor's toilet just by the porch, and then when you enter, okay, you have the guest room, from the guest room you have the kitchen, the kitchen has a store, okay, and we have the laundry room at the same time, okay. From there, we have another four bedrooms in addition, total giving us a five-bedroom house. On the extreme left downside corner, we have the master bedroom, which has a walk-in closet and then the bathroom separately. So all this put together, we have the utility room as well. All this put together, I'm anticipating some around 3,500 blocks, but then I just want to be, you know, don't want him to go like, okay, you said 3,500, but it is not 3,500. You know, sometimes it goes that way. I just make it 4,000. You understand? Just 4,000 blocks is enough. You cannot go more than that. Are you with me? Even if you want to extend the height of your building, 4,000 blocks should be okay for you. You understand and 4,000 block we need solid okay solid if it's a first floor you go for hollow but this time we need solid block quarry dust very strong we are not joking here at all there is no joking here at all solid pa solid now one is going for five cities I don't know how much it's it been sold in your area you have to bargain they give you price you just pay you are too rich you have to bargain let them reduce their price, including transportation. Okay, so we need 5,000 blocks. Per my analysis, five Ghana cities is giving us 20,000. Okay, we need cement. 
Cement for laying the 4,000 blocks is 80 bags of cement. Okay, 80 bags of cement. It has been calculated. If you don't know how to do the calculation, go and watch my earlier video on um, how it all started or cost of foundation. Uh, you'll see how I did the calculation to know how cement and blocks are correlated. Are you getting it? All right, so we need 60 bags. That's the quantity. And Gassam is going for 60 Ghana cities. Okay, you can go for diamond cement. There's other cement that are a little bit lower. You can use that one. When it comes to the pillars, you can use Gassam. You know, don't, you don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself. They are all performing the same function. Okay, Gassam has a name. That's all. Okay, Gassam, the only thing is that you can use it in, you know, as waterproofing. You understand? That's why they put the 42.5R. The other ones are 32.5R. They are equally the same. They are strong. Okay, so at, based on Mr. Paul Amos pillars, or yes, pillars, we need 108 pieces of iron rods. 108 pieces of iron rod. He has 36 pillars. 36 pillars. This time around, we are not going to cut the iron rod into three. We are going to cut it into two. We take one full length of an iron rod. The total length of the iron rod is 30 feet. So 30 feet. A bit chimmyen, a chimmyen, a bit fifteen feet, fifteen feet. This are fifteen feet, you know, you hear no me and sat for one pillar because a bit six stripes, six. So fifteen feet back, another fifteen feet, another fifteen feet, another fifteen feet, fifteen feet, fifteen feet. Now I create three or one side, three or one side. Now cutting, ting, ting, and we are one pillar. In this say iron rod back, semi chima. And the mammy me no, that is two pieces, fifteen, fifteen there. That just me here or no me and sa for one pillar. So what you say? Aha, iron rod back plus another one plus another one. No my chinning name now I'm a tray, I have my tray. So what my saying to iron rod, no say only your quam will see. Aha, your quam will see. Tell no full one, me and sa ever mammy pillar back. Because me for full one back could be a make you two. So what you see here, if I full one back, could be a mechimu two. So I need three of those full one for one pillar. So if three pieces constitute to one pillar, how many pillars do you have? You multiply three by the number of pillars you have. Then you get your quantity of iron rods. So based on Paul Amos uh, pillars, he has 36 pillars. Okay, multiplying three by 36, I have 108. Okay, so that is it. 16 mm, the quantity of 16 mm is 70 pieces. So 70 pieces, it means that I will need to buy 70 pieces plus another, let's say, um, this 100 and so 70, I need about 30 pieces more. Are you getting the point? Yeah, so that's how it's going to be. So 108, about 38 pieces more. Are you getting it? Yes, if you go for 14 mm, 14 mm, the total quantity is 95. So even that one, you still need extra. Because this is 108, the 14 mm is 95. The 95 pieces makes a ton. Are you getting it? Yes, so I believe that make it stronger. We will use 16 mm. Okay, So you can see that the, the 16 mm alone is going for 92,000, uh, sorry, 9,000. 266 based on my current price which is the unit price is 85.8 you understand yes it might go higher by the time you want you want to build okay it might go lower this is a guide for you now we need 14 mm 70 pieces for that of the lentil and we're bending on my in on top of all the building for those for the length we need 8 mm for the rings and the best also iron rods and then 16 mm 14 mm the rings is 8 mm okay yes okay then we come to cement for casting the lentil and the pillars if your contractor is giving you an estimate let them break it down for you you know they confuse you Workmanship for laying the blocks is different. Workmanship for casting the pillars is, should be different. Pillar and lentil, they should move together. Don't let them separate it for you. They, they, they play tricks on you by saying pillar and quan separate, 
lentil and crown separate. No, pillar and lentil, they move together. You understand? So they should give the workmanship for lentil and pillar one so that you can watch and bargain. Okay, lane of the blocks, I've already taught you. So it's a fixed price. It doesn't change. You understand? It's a fixed price. It doesn't change. Okay, so we need a cement for casting the lentil and the pillar. The cement which I quoted earlier in item two. If you watch item two closely, okay, item two. Let me do it this way so that we all can see properly. Okay, so item two. If you watch item two, 80 bags of cement is laying only the blocks, 4,000 blocks, nothing else. We don't use it for any other thing. 80 bags of cement for 4,000 blocks. So on item six, cement for casting the lentil and the pillars. I get in it. We need 50 bags. We might not use the entire 50 bags, but I just put 50 bags. Okay. Plumbing. We might not need too much of a plumbing here, but yes, because it's a ground floor. If it's a first floor, means that the pipe, you no, know, he needs to join the pipe. Also, to our pipes in this. But we're a ground floor, you're bare roofing. In the end, here plumbing. The only plumbing we need here is for the rain gutters. When they do the roofing, you need the rain, the pipe, you know, because most people don't they forget that Omo we are not pipes and then I'm dying home. We don't need the pipe, you know, you know, hanging on the wall. So the, the, the plumber needs to put in those pipes so that when they finish the roofing, they will connect it into the pipe and then the pipe is hidden in the wall. So you don't have the pipes running on the wall. So those are the rain gutters. You need four. One at the stream left at the back and the stream right at the back and then that of the front. Depending on the slope of your roofing, they are going to design the rain gutters. So here the rain gutters shouldn't be more than 1,000 including the workmanship. You shouldn't go more than 1,000. That's why I put it there. I'm not going to put it in the workmanship. Okay, so that's item 7. Item 8, wawa board. Yes. If you watch our previous episode, which is the cost of the foundation, we bought a lot of our boards from, from that of the profiling, 30 pieces. Maybe along the line, some 10 pieces might be damaged. Here we need additional 20 pieces or even less, 15 pieces is okay. This time you are not going to buy a bush cut, you are buying cyber, cyber board. Okay, I don't know a wa, and a tre, and it's smoother. Okay, we use this one for the external part of the building. Okay, yes, and the small ones we use them from the inside. The bush cut, you be using them for the inside. Are you getting it? Yes, it's very very important. I think I forgot something here. Okay, just a minute, a little bit. Let me clean my sweat. Okay, sorry about that. I think the light is too hard for me. Okay, so I got to clean my face a little bit. All right, so the Wawa board is what I'm talking about. That Wawa board, cyber board, you know, 15 pieces is okay, but I'm just being, you know, sarcastic. I just want to be a more curious. I just put 20 pieces, which one is going for 50 Ghana cities. So what that is 1,000. After all, you're going to use it along the line for the plastering. They will stand on it and create a bench and use it for the plastering. So nonetheless that's okay now item 9 the 100 by 500 fascia board okay that's for the windows and that for the doors okay that's what the lentil beam will pass on top okay we need about 14 pieces and know what it's long see a bit richer yeah, they don't let someone tell you that is very expensive it's not expensive it's not expensive at all okay then we need nails we need nails three inches uh, two pieces and then four inches two pieces okay so all put together from one up to eleven item one up to eleven our total estimate here is what this is our total estimate forty five thousand two hundred and three you see forty five thousand two hundred and three Ghana cities six pesos okay this is the total estimate for the materials for the superstructure okay for the superstructure which is what cost of superstructure for a five bedroom house okay this is for a five bedroom house okay so item one blocks okay quarry dust six inches solid cement 80 pieces that's 80 bags of cement only for laying the blocks 16 mm iron rods okay 14 mm for the lentil 8 mm for the rings okay and then cement for casting the pillar and the lentil 
okay plumbing work which is for the rain gutters okay because it's a ground floor building we are not going to extend the wc pipe the kitchen pipe we're not going to extend them no okay he did that in the foundation already okay what we bought for the lentil beam for the external part okay we need the one by five fissure board nails and that's it and the total cost is giving us how much 45,203 Ghana City 6 pesos. Now let's move on to the workmanship. Now, workmanship for the superstructure. Workmanship for the superstructure. Okay. So for the mason to be able to lay the 4,000 blocks, his price is 6,800. Okay. If you want to learn how to calculate the workmanship, kindly go and watch our earlier episode. Please watch it. Okay. I have two episodes from that, how it all started and cost of foundation and then the spreadsheet analysis there are three videos in a row watch all of them and then you can understand where we are coming from okay yes some people jump into it and start asking some questions please go back and watch all the videos take your time and get a book okay and write it down if you want me to send you the spreadsheet let me know okay and make sure you send me your appreciation before you send me the email i will send you the entire spreadsheet so that you can do some editing there everything has been done already you don't have to do so much i will send the spreadsheet to you for free okay just show your appreciation and i also show my appreciation yes that's how it goes all right so what machine for laying the blocks only is 6800 there's nothing more there's nothing more for the 4000 blocks but the mason is not going to lay the entire 4000 blocks so you need to be watchful buy 3000 blocks for him let him start and see where it will get to now when it finishes then that means that you calculate the workmanship based on 3000 blocks if it is for 3500 you pay him that some people write 4000 blocks but they don't work up to 4000 but they take the 6800 you see the masons are very smart oh my mason well you're good oh beside maybe you're treating me you what trick you what trick you workmanship for the steel fixer steel fixer 2500 it is negotiable okay i can bargain okay it doesn't have to go higher this is a ground floor five bedroom house 36 pillars and lentil okay 2500 maybe he will start from 3005 it is up to you to bargain try and bargain to the lowest value for your own good okay some people don't know how to bargain you are too soft nobody will come to you and be soft no artisan will come to you and be soft they need money they should be able to tell you say me a still bender by day say me fix it pillar bia by day you're just saying and i say pillar back up yeah you're fixing you're just saying they will not tell you that truth because they know it's not expensive they want to do it contract 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 so you try and bargain down okay the carpenter for the pillars and that of the lentil i put 2005 you can bargain and pay 2000 okay or even 1005 you can do that don't tell me it's cheap. There's no cheap labor anywhere. No artisan is cheap. You bargain. No mason has a PhD that I know of, except those who are bidding the Burj Khalifa. There's no Burj Khalifa in Ghana. Okay, yes. And any contractor that comes and gets money from you, he go and use the same local artisans, you know, in your area to build a house. And he takes the whole money. Okay, don't come and tell me, oh, you are using a cheap labor. Where? Your grandfather's house, your mother's house, your sister's house, even your own house that you are in now before you traveled abroad. It is not someone with PhD that built that house. No. The local artisan, Mason, you know, where feature on them now, no one sees that. I know. Don't come and tell me, say, and uh, the Mason is not qualified. The Mason is not qualified, you will see. He doesn't know how to build it. I will sack you. You should know. When the Mason is not good, or Kasakra will be home. You understand? You will know. When the mason is not good, you should know. Don't go and take, say, a cheap laborer. No, there's nobody who is cheap. There's someone who doesn't know is different from cheap. Yes. So that, that's how it goes. Now, workmanship for casting the pillars. So one, the mason lays the blocks. He takes his money. The steel bender comes to put in the pillars and that of the lentil. The carpenter will put the boards. And then the mason will come back again and pour in the concrete. See, four stages, only four, four stages. Four stages for the superstructure. Considerably the plumber. 
That's all. And how much? The total cost, 13300 13300 for the superstructure. Five-bedroom house. What's that word, Sirevi? Why a shock? You are surprised, isn't it? Yes, you are surprised. This is, he's laying 4,000 block. Even assuming he's laying, maybe this is a two-bedroom house. You don't have to spend that much. Okay, when I say this, somebody says, oh, it's cheap labor. Where is the cheap labor? Where? Where is the cheap labor from? Everything here. Do you think these monies are cheap monies? The values that you are seeing here, do you think they are small money? You can go and pay $500,000 for your foundation. That is from your own pocket. Not from my pocket, though. But I'll build a better house than you. Me, I'm telling you. I will build a better house than you. You pay $500,000. Or you're paying 200,000 Ghana cities for foundation. I can understand. Some people have, you know, extravagant houses. They have garage. Okay. They have garage. They have cinema. They have recreational center. They have everything. Even swimming pool inside. I can understand. I'm not talking about those buildings. I'm talking about the standard five bedroom four bedroom house every you know struggling person who is trying to make you know something for themselves struggling back in abroad you know the, those in abroad we are living in two places you have to pay your rent in abroad pay everything abroad at the same time build back home you know you are living in two places who is more expensive we are more expensive you understand yes so therefore we go through a lot so don't waste your money on unnecessary things don't waste money on unnecessary things don't just raise a structure and say i want to build 20 bedrooms who is going to stay in there at least eight bedrooms okay yes eight bedrooms is normal provided someone famous to me are carried there now i yeah it's not by force i am going for a four bedroom house based on my capacity cut your coat according to your size there's no cheap labor anywhere Nothing is cheap here. Everything is expensive. Hmm. So, I macro managing everything. You are micro managing. Yes. Even micro managing. Yes. Plan group. Even nails to metu to na guho. It can be reused. Yes. So thirteen thousand three hundred for the workmanship. Now let's put it together. Let's put it together. So here we have cost of materials, which is 45,203 Ghana cities, which you already know. Okay, for the superstructure, the cost of materials for the superstructure is 45,203. And then the workmanship is 13,300. And I gave a miscellaneous just in case. Maybe in your house, you have those take tick pillars at the front. Okay, yes, you want to have those pillars at the front. You understand so you have the precast the, the machine or the metal molding case you have to go and rent them okay so you have to rent them some of them they already cast the pillars the designs are already there the shape you are looking for you just have to go and buy them position them properly and then put the iron rod and cast in the concrete so five thousand can do that kind of you know thing for you at the front of the pillars apart from that you're going to do some parapet okay that one is even after after so all this is just a block work to roofing stage bam why should you pay five hundred thousand dollars no you tell me from here if perhaps maybe i am too cheap and you are too expensive tell me where your expensiveness will come in here blocks cement iron rods workmanship where is the cheap here you tell me okay so put it together, 63,503 Ghana cities. Now, we'll go down. Summary. Summary, I'm bringing the cost of foundation, which is in my last video that I dropped. Our last episode on cost of foundation. You go there, watch it, pick the total estimate for workmanship and that of the materials. And that is what I'm bringing here. And so that value is 62,871. That's 62,000. 871 62,871.6 that is the workmanship for the cost of foundation in the last video now in this video is the cost of superstructure so the superstructure is the down one superstructure materials and workmanship is giving us what 63,000 
503 Ghana cities, 6 pesos. Put the two together, we have 126,375 Ghana cities. Your contractor has cheated you. Okay, contractor has cheated you. Let's say I have 130,000. Let me, let me just put it there, 130,000. Country, don't you think I'll build my five bedroom house better? Metume Boasi, not designs, not BIM. Eh, Metume Boasi, not designs, no windows, not Kasia Kasia. Take your time, don't rush it. 130,000. Just give me $20,000. I hope I have a crack camera home, me no problem. $20,000. I'll build your five bedroom house to the lentil for you. And then we'll be our son Damasi. Yeah, give me $20,000 and let me build a four bedroom. I'm not talking about decking, because decking cost is different. I'm talking about foundation all the way to the roofing stage. And that's it. So if you want to continue and do decking, then we'll talk about decking estimate. Because decking estimate entails a lot. You need a lot of plywood, you need a lot of bamboo, you need a DPM, you need a lot of iron rods. If you want to go for stress beam, you are going for the trasaco type. Then we use blocks and also better work castle. So that one, we need somebody who is specialized in that to give us an estimate. That is not my specialty. Carpenter will give you an estimate. That is not my specialty. Mine, I know from the foundation to the roofing stage. Carpenter should be the one to calculate the number of trousers. Trousers near in Vienna, the big goose near any trousers, wood trousers. We have steel trousers. If you want to make the metal, aluminum, almost to make the annoyer, but in the aluminum, I want to move a I want wood. So, wood trousers. You understand? Now, the roofing sheet, papa guso. I no, no, no. So, I don't know if you, your roofing sheet alone crack can even take you to about 70, 80, depending on the size, the length of your building. You understand? Yes. So, now we are talking about the foundation and the superstructure. 126,375 Ghana cities. So if you have $20,000, don't you think you have your five bedroom up to the roofing stage? And then you think about the roofing, maybe you give yourself some time, get the carpenter, give you an estimate, and get the roofing company to come and measure it and give you the price. Once you get the money, you put it on top. Now you think about finishing. Finishing is what I say is not cheap. Because finishing depends on you. You decide the kind of abuse you want. Open a boarding and what on a boarding, open jacuzzi, open tall way, open light way. All is dependent upon you. I will search in the market and look for the reasonable price. I don't go for expensive. I cut my coat according to my size. And when you enter my room, you will like it. Yes, everything there is brand new. You understand? Yes, everything there is brand new. If you have money, then do it like Dangote. It's up to you. So our cost here, 126,375. He's building our five bedroom. So Mr. Polamo, this is your estimate. You can decide to give the the the, the boys 130,000. They will do your job for you. Just give me the money. Okay, Medica Krabari Chichinga. You understand? Yeah, so that is it. So lovely people, if you want to show an appreciation for my hard work, the numbers are on your screen, all right? Yes, just um, get the numbers empty and 0246 0246-676-416. The name is Clara Buedua. Drop us your appreciation, $20, $30, $50. We don't have a problem. Uh, from your heart, any amount you want to share, just send it, okay? All right. And in case you need a drawing, please contact Jonathan Tete. All right. Jonathan Tete, their office is located at Jowlu. This is a big company. Because a big company, don't be afraid. Some people don't want to pay for their drawing. You see, you should get a very latest drawing. 21st century building design. Don't go for any color drawing. 21st century, you design it dynamo. You have a 3D or a 4D. See how your building is going to look like. 
Then you begin your construction. You can even take your time and do some changes. Because one thing I realized is that when you're building, you always do changes. You always do changes. I tell you, you always do change. Myself, I've done a lot of changes in my plan. That's why when you have a plan, you take your time. Now we'll study plan. You will definitely do some changes to suit you. And then you begin your construction. And even if you do the changes within the coin, I know Krama, there's a lot of excitement, you understand? Because real is different from that of the paper, you understand? So yes, but at least have a drawing so that you have a pattern how you want the building to look like. So contact Jonathan Tete for that. I will show his design for you to see, which will be popping on the screen right now, okay? So this design, we have a four bedroom, the entrance, you're entering a foyer, okay? Then the hall is separate. This is a four bedroom standard. See the design, it's beautiful. Yes, contact Jonathan Tete now. Their prices are reasonable. They'll give you everything together, everything. You understand? If you need electrical positioning, plumbing, they will do everything. They will give it to you. If you want him to submit for permit, he will do all of that for you. Contact Jonathan Tete for that now. All right. So lovely people, we've come to the end of this episode of Course of Superstructure. If you like what you see and you appreciate it, then please appreciate me also. Okay. And give us a like, thumbs up, subscribe if you have not subscribed. All right. So that we all learn together as a community. Don't get stuck to my channel alone. Go to other channels that shows educational you know, videos like mine. If perhaps not even educational, something that you think you like, you can catch it from there and then implement it in your house. All right. So lovely people, from me to you, it's Shalom. God bless you wherever you are. And it's for bye-bye.